Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on circle theorem. Uh, I must apologize for my rather poor uh, editing here. Um, you know, I hope you don't mind that. Anyway, it says here that uh, ABP and ADQ are tangents to the circle and that C lies on the circle there. And it says prove that Y is equal to 2X to there. Okay? And uh, you're supposed to give reasons for any statements you make. But I'm not going to write them down. But I'm going, to, I'm going to say them. I'm not going to write them down. So, firstly, how many uh, 2D shapes can you see there? Well, I can see um, three quadrilaterals. I can see two triangles. You, can, you probably can see many more than I've seen. Right. Now, because that's a tangent there, and that's a radius. Now this angle there must be 90 degrees. Similarly, this angle here must also be uh, 90 degrees because that's a tangent and that's a circle there. And I can see two isosceles triangles. Now because that's a radius, and therefore that's a radius, so that's, they're both equal. So that, that must mean that that's an isosceles triangle. Similar, that's also an isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal. Okay? So that being the case, this angle here will be x degrees. Now, this angle here will be 90 minus 2x. That's what you got there. Because all that's 90 degrees because of the tangent. So that must be 90 minus 2x. Now, similarly, uh, the, this angle will also be 90 minus 2x. I can stop there. But I'm going to do one more. Now, this arc here subtends an angle of 90 minus 2x plus x at the circumference. So 90 minus 2x plus x will give me 90 minus x degrees. And the same arc subtends this angle at the circumference there. So that angle there must be double the angle at C. So we stop there. Right, I'm gonna try and do this the hard way, and you can do the simpler way. Right, I'm going to consider uh, the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, which is this one here, A, B, C, D. Right, I can say angle Y is, sorry, angle A is Y degrees. Angle B is going to be 90 plus 90 minus 2x and that will give us 180 minus 2x there angle c will be 90 minus x because 90 minus 2x plus x give us 90 minus x and angle d will be 90 plus x degrees there and when you add them up we get y plus 360 minus 2x that will be the sum of the interior angles of the collateral a b c d and the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. The 360s cancel out. So we now have that y minus 2x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 2x. Now I've done it the hard way. Now see if we can do it the easier way now and see what to get. Uh, I hope that made some sense to you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again sometime. Bye bye.